This video is sponsored by Harry's. DIY friends, it's the holiday season. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dirty, and I gotta say, I am feeling all of the holiday fuzzies inside my bones, inside my body. That's not a thing! Today's DIY in progress is selfishly a very personal bucket list project of mine. I am taking you through my journey to create a DIY thrifted holiday winter display for one of my favorite antique thrift stores called The Joneses, located in the small town of Millbrook, just outside of Toronto. It's a stone throw, I swear. You have seen me shop there before in many of my thrift with me's because it's very much a constant go-to place for me. Me. Now, the owner of the store, Charlotte, she also owns a wedding dress store in the same town, which is how I met her. It's where I bought my beautiful wedding dress. We stayed in touch ever since, and alas, this marvelous opportunity came forward, and I just couldn't say no. I just hope you enjoy this journey as much as I enjoyed doing it. We get holiday magic, we get holiday thrift finds, and we get styling all in one. And the best part about this video is that every item I use to style in this window display is 100% purchasable at the store right now. So if you live in the Toronto area and you see something you like, get in your car, get over there and start shopping. <laughs> If that doesn't excite you, I don't know what does. We are supporting local, we are supporting small businesses, and we are making marvelous holiday magic come true. But before we get into it, if you are not subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button and join this marvelous Creative Beast community. We do all things home and DIY on this channel, but sometimes we can get a bit weird. But we like weird, so with that said, let's get into this holiday-inspired, thrifted, antique episode. It's just all those words just bring me so much joy. Editor, roll the tape. I don't think I've ever touched something so expensive in my life. Don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Welcome to our playground. This is Charlotte. Not that. <laughs> Winston and Blaze. You blazing trails. So this is Charlotte, the owner of the Joneses, and she's had this store in Millbrook for over five years now. I love Charlotte's shop. It's just filled with so many unique things that really cater to so many different design styles and likes. I mean, you can find anything and everything from antique furniture, crystal, art, apparel. It's just so much fun to walk in that space and look around. There's always something to look at. So this was the window space I was is going to focus my energy in in creating my holiday window display. As you can see, the space had a lot of stuff that needed to get organized, but this was a great time to get organized because it was helping me find things that I wanted to put into my vision. My goal for this is to like tell a story. I want to tell the story of this woman who was out skating all day. She's a little chilled. She's looking to cozy up in a chair in front of the fire, read a good book, drink a cup of tea, enjoy her her cozy cottage life. I want to bring in that coziness. I want to show it through beautiful lighting, cozy textures, and like just putting them out front and center and showing people how they can live that cozy life inside their own home. I want to see lots of lights. I want to see lots of color. And I want it to be one of those things when you're driving by, you look over and you're like, I got to go there tomorrow. <sighs> Let's hope we can bring this like cozy scape here. Let's hope we can do Charlotte really proud. eventually get all the items moved out so you can see what we were working with but that window only had a small ledge of maybe two feet so Deanna and I got measuring and made a plan to create a small stage to give us a better surface area to work with so I'm running to the hardware store we're gonna buy some elements that allow us to kind of build like a dummy floor of <laughs> some sort oh this is so much fun I just love this Maybe 
maybe this is our best bet. Cut it, stain it, best bang for a buck. Here we go. <laughs> All right, friends, I have been working away at this window display, but I would like to shave off a little bit of your time to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Harry's. You see what I did there? <laughs> I've actually been using Harry's high quality blades religiously since 2020. And I honestly, I never looked back. I personally have always used men's razors for my legs. I just think the blades are better and they last longer. But the cool thing about Harry's is that they don't market to just men. They actually just believe in making razors that work well for a fair price, no matter who you are. First off, I love how the razors feel. It's like slightly weighted and that's satisfying for some reason. <laughs> it has these like kind of deep grooved rubberized handle that helps you grip in the water. It's also pretty cool because 50% of the plastic in this handle is recycled. Their blades are super high quality and it has this little precision trimmer on the back that I love to always get those like little upper lip fuzzies. I also have very sensitive dry skin. So in the past, my legs always get those horrible red bumps, but their foaming shave gel worked really great, especially now going into the winter season because it has aloe, which is super hydrating. I mean, I kind of feel like I can almost have that summer leg look, but all year round, it's amazing. They also provide fair price razors for everyone. No pink tax and no outrageous price tags, just premium quality at an extremely affordable price. Their blades come in several colors to fit your mood. They have a new two-tone design, or you can simply pick ocean, sage, ember, or chrome. And it's super convenient because you can get razor refills delivered directly to your door. Now, Harry's provided me with a special code that allows you to redeem a trial set for just $5. When you go to harrys.com slash DIY Danny, you'll get a five blade razor, a weighted handle, a blade cover, and their foaming shave gel. It's an incredibly great deal and just makes great gifts for around the holiday. Day. Try it out for yourself or give the gift of a great shave to someone you love. <laughs> All right, I've shaved off enough of our time. Let's get back to that holiday window display. So we just got back. I'm feeling really good about this. So we bought these pieces. If they are the fronts, then we can actually use them as little display storage areas. And then we have this plywood piece that we're gonna stain up and we should be able to create a whole back section. So we gotta cut some wood out front, which is gonna be hilarious. Let's build a stage. into the middle of the scene so that it takes up some of this void space and really draws your eye in. I am going to go up there. I'm gonna attach these into the wall so they sit off the wall. And then we'll get this attached now so we don't have to do any installing tomorrow. And we love that for us. Okay, so I got a rug in, <laughs> but I also brought this in. So check this out. It's a faux, well, a faux. It's a fireplace cupboard. There's nothing faux about it. It's beautiful, it's stained glass. And I just, I really wanted this like fireplace vibe to come into the, like that coziness in the scene. I wanna get this in and use a dresser as the fake fireplace. And I think this is gonna be so cool. And then I have something really fun to bring the faux fire that we're looking for. So I'm excited, so let's set this up. I can't even wait. I'm like so excited, okay. That kind of works. People gonna go by your, your store at night and be like, oh my God, there's a fire. 
it's definitely getting later in the day. I'm starting to like see that moodiness and like cuteness that's coming through the window. The fireplace, we figured it out. She looks awesome. So Deanna had this great idea to put the fire light in a crystal. So we got the light going back here in a little crystal. I think that's so fun. But I did want to get the Christmas tree in the scene. So I thrifted this bad boy for 80 bucks and actually got it for 60 because it has a broken bulb in it, which I think we could find the bulb. Not gonna lie. But let's get this Christmas tree up because she gonna be looking darn cute in this window. So let's do it. I wanted a colorful tree. We ain't doing the white lights this, this Christmas, this holiday season. I want full on color coordinated. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> I think we just all need a little color in our lives. is looking much better now. Boy, we went back and forth a million times about what should go in this corner, but I am loving this like rustic box moment and then we'll fill it with all of the blankets and just some extra sweaters. I think the fireplace is looking great. All the little elements are looking great and everything is just gonna come together. We got some cool lights coming in tomorrow, which I really think it's gonna transform the space. So I'm feeling very excited. It's a dream come true. This little Christmas scene is coming to an end for the evening and so am I. So I will see you all tomorrow, bye. Well, I woke up and our winter wonderland is here. This is Pop Pop's favorite weather. He is just absolutely stoked. So I'm drinking a coffee. We're getting our playtime in. How perfect is this snow for our holiday inspired window treatment? It just sets the scene, you know? Seeing that cold winter scape outside really just brings all that extra coziness inside. So I'm so excited for that. Also, it's like the first time I'm seeing the greenhouse with snow on it and it's kind of exciting. But with that said, we have an entire scene to finish today. So let's get over to the Joneses because I'm Jones in to finish. <laughs> Today we bring the scene together, which I'm thrilled about. I had this idea, so I have this frame at home and I thought this would make the perfect backdrop for the fireplace. We have this board that's gonna be filled in and then blacked out just so it looks like the top of like a mantle. We're gonna pop that in there. But other than that, we need to do some lighting. Lighting is literally everything. It's gonna make this scene. It's gonna draw people in. So I need to make sure that the lighting is perfect. We need to put lamps in the scene. We need to have things cascading down. We need a mood. I'm gonna wanna live here essentially. I'm just gonna move into this front windowscape and that's it. That's fine. Day two was about divide and conquering. So I had Deanna outside spraying my light cords white while I looked for broken bulbs in my holiday tree and just started to bring in some cozy elements into the scene. Maybe we get our girl some records. The best Marty Robbins. Look at that stash. That is a good stash, my friends. Whose is better? <laughs> Darling, come to me. I love you so much. Oh, I can't go to you. My hat is still blowing in the wind. I just want you to come with me. No, I can't go with you. What about Frank? Screw Frank. You're with me now. Oh, Ronald, what will I do with you? Oh, you're such a flirt. Ever 
since we started this project, I've had this vision of these star lights hanging to kind of fill in this space up at the top. So when I saw that Ikea came out with these beautiful star lights, I just knew that these were like going to make this entire windowscape just pop. So we're gonna pop these up and hopefully they feel as magical as I think they will. <laughs> I think the phone needs to go. No, Josh, I think you need to go. <laughs> okay, this record player slash radio, perfect for our coffee table. We got some like thrifted mixed matched books. And then I think we're bringing back the big guy and then we'll have a little bit of a quilted moment on the back. And I think we're gonna be golden. I feel like this is coming together so well. I'm trying to like take a look from outside to see how it looks from the inside. But now that we're kind of getting this windowscape finished, I want to now draw my eye to what do you see when you come in? So like little elements that are facing this way that you wouldn't see from the windowscape. We're going to catch the flip side now. <laughs> I think we're done. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm blown away. This was so much fun to do. This is gonna draw people in, I just know it. But the owner, Charlotte, she hasn't seen it from the window side. She's been kind of peering from the back. So I'm gonna bring her outside with me and we're gonna see it from outside for the first time. Oh, she loves it, so let's go. Are those those cute little vintage books I've been looking for in my house? Oh, oh let's go in. <laughs> I think this looks yeah, amazing. It looks it's yeah, so cozy you. from all yeah. angles. Yeah, it does. And it's nice and open here too, so people can actually like get in there and see. Right? So bringing like how you built the platform out. Yeah. And put all the crates underneath, I think that's perfect. And you can take that stage completely out when you're done with it if you don't I want that there. I mean, it would be a lot easier to just keep it I there. Think I might just keep DOA friends, our holiday inspired window display has come to an end and I'm sad. Honestly, this project was such a dream come true for me. I just like the little intimate, cozy cottage core scene we created. And the ultimate goal was to help bring in new customers to the store from the street. And after we finished, this meant so much to me. Charlotte had texted me and just said how many people would actually just stop and start like staring at all the cute objects in the window. Honestly, that just fills my DIY heart with so much joy. That's the true spirit of the holidays. Getting this chance to support local and support small businesses and make their dreams come true. But again, a big thank you to Harry's for sponsoring this episode. Don't forget to use the link in my description box to redeem your trial set for just $5 when you go to harrys.com slash DIY Danny. And of course, a big thank you to my Patreon, my DIY family. If you are looking for a DIY community to connect to and share all your DIY fun, the link is in my description box. Go check it out and of course my friends as always stay positive stay creative stay safe this holiday season and keep on DIYing bye bye